Uh, yeah, I will uh, have you gain five life. Yeah, go ahead and gain five life. Hello, my fair citizens. My name is Strider Stone. I'm the mayor of Sodium City, and today we have a, uh, well, it's a deck that uses Tainted Remedy as the main combo piece. That's really the only way I can explain it. Tainted Remedy makes it so that whenever an opponent gains life, they lose that life instead. This can be really good in and of itself against a Mono White Life Gain deck or like an Orza Vito combo deck, but we are going to use it in great Strider fashion as a combo deck with a bunch of target player gains life ETB effects or both players gain life ETB effects. And then we're just going to double those effects. Surprisingly enough, there aren't many cards that allow us to heal the opponent using a permanent. I, I was actually really surprised. So we're just stuck with the Centaur Peacekeeper, Happily Ever After, and Titan of Industry. Uh, our doubling of ETB effects are going to be Panharmonicon, Yorick, and Elish Norn. So the same amount of cards that double ETB effects are the same amount of cards that also heal the opponents. But it does it all for a lot of life, and we're multiplying it and doubling it. And of course, we can also use Yorian, which blinks all the cards and makes them come back in, which then again doubles or triples the effects over and over again. There's a lot of cool things that we can do if all the stars line up. If you take a look at the deck list, it might look a little bit weird because we are using two of each combo piece, including all the ETB boosters, obviously excluding Tainted Remedy. But the reason for this is because of Eerie Ultimatum. We can only bring back one of each permanent, so having four of a card and a combo when we can only bring back one can be a detriment. So running two of two different cards is better than running four of the same card. So considering we have three cards that do it, we just run two of each instead of like three and three or whatever. It's just better. Trust me, it's better. It may look weird, but it's better. All we need to do is get all of the permanents that we need in the graveyard and then cast Mizzix Mastery targeting Eerie Ultimatum, and then we should win. It's pretty easy. The deck went seven and seven and it actually did a lot better than I expected. I don't think I could really ever recommend this deck to anybody in good conscience though, but it was really funny once it goes off. Unfortunately, it seems that people surrendered once all of our stuff came back into the battlefield. People never let anything resolved, which is really sad. And I don't know if they actually saw the combo and then surrendered or they just assumed that they were dead and just left the game. I mean, they were going to die anyway, but you know what I mean. If you did want to build this deck, it's going to cost you eight mythics and 53 rares. Keep in mind that it is an 80 card deck it is using Yorian. It's still pretty expensive though, but you can get the deck list by clicking on that card that pops out at the top right hand corner of this video. Or if you want the text based version, that'll be in the description below. So make sure to tap that like button, attack that sub button, stay salty and enjoy the games. Yeah, so basically all we're trying to do is we are trying to get them to gain life so that we can kill them. Simple as that. Uh, we would also like to not kill ourselves in, in, at the same time possible uh, I guess I mean I could have played tainted remedy but oh they could have shuffled stuff back into my library, but... Guess they didn't want to do that. Uh... 
I assume they have counter spells. Yeah, they were holding up blue very suspiciously. Can I kill them? Maybe. 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 Let's find out. I didn't do the math. Fuck it. All right. Not quite. Yes, you can. We could not quite kill them. <laughs> All right. Wait, hold on. Sacrifice it. Yeah, we killed him. Easy clap. No, we got it. It's fine. It's fine. We got it. We just got to get rid of the... We just got to get rid of farewells. So we can run something like... Brainstone or whatever it's called. Mind brain. <laughs> we need a red source. Yeah, we need a red source. I just woke up. Jesus Christ. It's so late though. As long as you got some sleep. Not good. Oh no. No sword, I know what I'm doing. Hmm. Okay. Thrilling discovery, a good card. Seems good. Don't Seems good. Methods. You're up late? I can tell that. Um... I think I have to do this. Maybe I should have foretold Doomscar because they're Grixis and so they have Thought Karen and they're probably going to get rid of my Doomscar. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. I have five mana now. Six. Folus told me I should do this. The problem is that's seven mana. If they're holding up counter spells still. Um I can't do anything.
All right, now we just have to hope they go for the damage before they flip. Damage before flip. All right, set sorcery only. Yeah. So they can counter this, but then they're probably out of blue because it's going to be double blue. Okay. We got him. We got him. You got you got your baby. I mean, I have to kill that. Do I even have Tainted Remedy in here? I don't. <sighs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. We're just hoping they don't have a counter spell. I could have discarded the Ruinous Ultimatum and then went straight for the Mizzix Mastery. But... It's like... Oh, shit! You fell for it! Two in a row! Two in a row! Two in a row! <laughs> Tycon! Thank you so much for the follow, I appreciate it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. They have to have counter spells, right? No, because they would have they would have did it to kill me. Right? They would have just did it to kill me. Yeah. I have two of them this time. I still have no Tainted Remedy. I don't Unless they're fucking this. with me. Maybe. I, I should have did the... I forgot I didn't have a Tainted Remedy in there still. All right. Madness. <laughs> what madness?
Okay. So at the end of the turn, we thrill a possibility, get our tainted remedy in the graveyard. And then the turn after this. that, we I get to double Mystic Mastery. Because even if they counter the... We have two Eerie Ultimatums in the graveyard. So, and two Mystic Masteries. So there's like, the only way for them to get rid of us is by countering both things, which would suck. Is it possible? Absolutely. Counterspell? Okay. All right. Cool. Go ahead and gain some life. Thank you. Sure. Sure. <laughs> All right, they gained some life. Ordinary? Either of you streaming? They get a shout out for both of them. I don't know if we got shout outs for both people. Shout out to Nerdy Kitty, another great friend of the stream. Also, shout out to Certified. Another great friend of the stream. We've got some sweet people here. <laughs> oh, I don't like that. That scares me. This just screams combo deck. Anytime you mold a five, it terrifies me. Mike. Sometimes I feel like cemetery tampering is too slow. But then I also feel like it's a catch up mechanic. At the same time. I feel like it could be a catch-up mechanic. Great card. Great card. It's about trickery flashbacks. Oh my god, don't remind me. Now the question here is, do I play Symmetry Tampering or Faithless Looting? I think I Symmetry Tampering. Yeah. Shit. We do need that, eventually. Oh, that's not good. Follow the light. In its absence, follow At least they took two damage from that. That's really good for us. Mainly because they're further away from 27. Now we need to get 20 cards in our graveyard because of our tainted remedies in the grave or in the cemetery tampering. Follow 
fight for the cause once more. Nine, ten, eleven. Oh, this is Exaxes. All right, we're pretending like we're mad. We're pretending like we're mad. All right, all right. All rise. The light soars above the darkness. All rise. Okay, they didn't do it. Huh. All right. Let's see. What what can we can we actually do anything from here? No, not yet. We have twelve in the graveyard. Yeah, they should have at least sent two for lethal, but it doesn't matter to me. The bad thing is win the day, my angel. Oh, you The thing is Okay, I actually have to do this. To get one more card in the graveyard. I need to untap land if possible. Yes. Okay. I can't kill them, can I? Am I close? I think I'm close. Bay life. You live by the memes, you die by the memes. Happily ever after in my hand. <laughs> Let's go. Nice win. Nice win. They're at one HP for a second. <laughs> it was close. It was close. But we also had the bitter reunion. We could have paid one, give them all haste and swung in for the win. But, you know. Had they swung in for lethal that one turn, they might have won. Have labor after for the rub in? I don't know. I think, I think it was still necessary. Yeah.
definitely need to do red black. I think I need red black because I have double black here, but I have red everywhere else. I think I do this and then discard the Godless Shrine right now. Because we need these lands. Oh, Zombie Wave. Hello. We take those? As long as they don't have Farewell. We, we only really lose to Farewell, so if they don't have Farewell, we're probably okay. Maybe I should have Grim Tutored for a Faithless looting there. I'm not sure. I think I should have. I think I punted. But I got to settle. And that's... That might be better, to be honest. Ow. What do I have? Okay, I have nothing in the graveyard. Nothing useful anyway. Um So I think I need to settle here. We're pretending to read, by the way. This is what we're doing, all right? This is all part of the debate. You have to pretend to read it like you've never seen it before. every time what's up fuego how's it going baby okay wait what do i actually need in here Tainted Remedy, and uh, I need a lot. Just start with that. So I can Yorian and then Thrilling Discovery, throwing down both of those. And that's good. Oh, Salad. Salad's a good card. We got three lands out of it, which is good for us. Maybe I should have played that. Not sure. Maybe I should have played the Yorian. Possibly. They can't get that haste, right? 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 R right? Right?
They have indestructible or else they would have attached the mall, right? Oh, never mind. Okay. Just kidding. I thought for sure they would have had... I thought for sure they would have had something. Do we have any doubling effects? We have no doubling effects except for Yorian. Is that enough? So it's four. Nine. Nine times two is 18. Maybe. Counterspell? No. All right. So, uh, Eerie Ultimatum is last, then that. Okay. Settle. Don't care. We need to get, like, a Yorick or a Panharmonicon or anything. They don't know how they're going to die yet. They don't know how yet. Yep. It's kind of shitty. Uh, where is our Elishnorn? Good cards. Good cards. Rawr. We're doing the thing, chat. We did it. We did it. It's official. Certified. All right. Gain some life. Go ahead. No, wait, but you were going to gain life. The Richard. But you were the Richard. <laughs> the biggest Richard. I'll do ribbon cutting. Do ribbon cutting for the moist and tasty. Almost at two years now. Almost at two years, baby. Let's go. 23 months. Thank you so much, Moist. I appreciate you. Enjoy your emotes. For one more fantastical month. I accidentally cut my headphone cords so bad. Why? These are like... Really, really expensive headphones. Why would you say that? That's rude. Rude. I should have put that down, actually.
Okay. Skewed swarm. Alright, I mean, at least the opponent doesn't play any good cards, right? Yeah, yo. Kinda scary. Ouch. That's six. So if they play a land, then they make another one. All right. Good shit. All right, so Thrilling Discovery can get both of those. Are you against Kitty, right? Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't have a Bajuga bog either. Okay. Everything is fine. I think we win if we get a Mizzix Mastery. I think, why? Why do you have everything to rebuild? Why? Why do you rebuild so easily? Doesn't matter. All right, finally. Uh, yeah, I will uh, have you gain five life. Yep, go ahead and gain five life. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. I feel like a lot of it is overkill. Because we had another eight, 13, 18, 18 damage on the stack, and then we were just going to blink it all and do it again. Thank you all so much for watching. If you made it to this point, it means you either really enjoyed the video or you fell asleep and I'm waking you up now. <laughs> either way, thank you for all the support. I really do appreciate it. If you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification, come out with videos seven days a week.